What's up, YouTubers? Budge of Vapors here. Hope everyone had a wonderful new year. Super excited today. Got two new vape products to show you guys. One's the Cuboid Mod, and the other one's the Cubist Tank, both by Joytech. Got them from a company called Origin Vape. I'll put links in the description below where you can get it with an extra 10% off. That's right, with an extra 10% off, Tank was $19.99, the mod was $45.99. That 10% brings it down to less than $70. That's right, less than $70 for a full kit. You get a tank and a mod with the, excep with the exception of batteries, of course. But most of us vapors, we already got like tons of batteries. All right, Origin Vape, check them out, man. Super great guys, super fast shipping. Customer service, let me tell you, super great. You have any problems with your order, shoot them an email. And they'll get back to you within an hour, let me tell you. Within an hour. Super great guys. All right, let's take a look at the packaging that I got. I got the mod, the tank, and a sticker. 2013 Origin Vape New York, New York. It's a big sticker. Super cool. All right, let's put this to the side. Origin Vape business card. Put this to the side. All right, let's take a look at the box. Cuboy 150 watt firmware upgradable. This is the front, the side, Joytech, the back. You can pause it to see if you want to read the, the writings in the back. The other side, the bottom, and the top. This mod comes in three colors. It comes with silver, gray, and black. I got the silver version. Let's, let's open this box up. Let's take a look at it. What's inside? It's a little styrofoam right here. Of course, this is where the mod is. I got the mod out already. USB cable, the firmware updates, and charging. The manual states that you can charge it through the mod, but it's not recommended. So I don't even know why they even put that function in there if you can't really charge it. So I don't recommend it. Use your external chargers. Let's put this to the side. And the tank. <clears throat> Take a look. Cubis. Innovative and leak resistant cup design. Got Joytech. The back. It comes with black and silver. I got the silver one to match my silver mod. The side. The bottom. And the top. Got this to focus a little. If you guys want to take a look at it, <clears throat> pause the video. Let's get this thing open. This is where the tank is, of course. It comes with two drip tips, one glass drip tip and a silver one. Here's a silver one. <clears throat> I'm using the, the glass one. It's a whiteboard drip tip, Delrin inside, so it doesn't get too hot. Open this up. The instruction manual, no one wants to look at that. And this little box, it comes with three coils. One's a 0.5, 1.0, and a 1.5. The 0.5 and 1.0 is both stainless steel, 316. And the other one is a clapped in the 1.5. It's more of a mouth to lung hit. All right, let's take a look at the mod. Alrighty, you got the front right here. Oh, when I got this mod, it did come with a few scratches on the side, so. It's not the it's not origin vapes fault it's more like a quality control with joytech i don't know why a lot of these mods from china has been coming scratched a little so it's a hit or miss some people might not have any but i did get some and you see this black panel right here there is a film protector all right let's take a look at it got the mod right here on the side you got one fire button the back joytech Cuboid 150 watt and there's a firmware right now that brings this thing up to 200 watts that's right 200 watts and a USB on the side for firmware updates again I don't recommend charging it through that USB and that's it pretty much the top and the bottom all right it's very simple you just open it up takes two 18650s I'm using these LG ones and you can't make a mistake it has your positive negative it tells you what to put in all right let's put this back in all right almost messed it up 
and the negative right here. Just click it back into place. Super fast. All right, you got one fire button and one little button right here. It's a toggle switch. You can go left or right. All right, it's this. The menu system is very similar to the Evic VT and the VTC. Very, it's it's almost the same, with the exception of this is a 200 watt mod and has external batteries. Uh, it takes two 18650s actually, two external batteries. All right, three clicks on three. One, two, three, four. Let's turn this thing off. Five clicks to turn on. One, two, three, four, five. And three clicks to get into the menu. One, two, three. You got your power mode, nickel, titanium, and stainless steel. This is great, man. The Relo RX200, their stainless steel is more on a... 304 this is on this is on a 316 most of these new coils come with 316 anyway so i don't know who really uses 304 but that's cool it's straight out the box you don't have to mess with it and let's see one two three and this got it's got tcr functions temperature coefficient resistance this is kind of cool so for just in case if there's new wires in the future you set that up it'll be compatible with it all right one two three let's get this back into stainless steel that's the coil i'm using right now the point five you can fire this under a stainless steel temp control or a regular power mode power mode 30 to 35 watts but this is kind of cool no dry hits you can keep on pressing it and let's see see temp control Temp protection. Never get a dry hit. So that's kind of cool. All right. Yeah, that's it for the mod, actually. It's really, it shows you the temperature, your power, your coil, and you have to lock it, and your amps. Oh, one more thing. If you want to check out what your firmware, let's turn this thing off. You have to hit it 18 times when it's off. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Tells you what firmware you're on. The 3.10 is the latest one right now. That brings this thing to 200 watts. All right, let's take a look at the tank. It's really, um, it's a cool tank. There's no airflow on the bottom. It's on the top right here. So which makes this thing cool right here. So there's no more leaking on the bottom. Even when I have it on the side, it's very hard to come off. Like, I mean, no juice comes out unless you're like flipping it upside down for like long periods of time. But uh, yeah, it's a cool little tank. It holds like 3.5 mLs of juice and it tells you where the, uh, the stop filling it has a max right here. But you can still fill up a little more just to get a little more juice in there. But uh, yeah, I'm using this uh, little glass drip tip. You hit it. You press that. Joytech's got this new, I don't know what kind of technology in this tank, but once you hold it, you can see vapor shoots out. Kind of cool. I'm vaping some, what is this? Hair whale. The last ship, let me tell you, this juice, super tasty. It's a vanilla almond mixed fruit cream. Got this at my local vape shop. It was on sale for like $19.99. Not really a big sale, but I think you can check them out. Their website has it for $22. This is a 30 mil vaping on three nick right here. It comes in 0, 3, 6, 12, and 18. But I don't know who really vapes at that high. But yeah, check them. Check these guys out. Super tasty juice. It's not a all-day vape because of the price. Twenty dollars for a thirty mil is still a little expensive. But uh, yeah, this is the mod tank, both by Joytech, the Cubist mod and the Cube Boy mod. It goes up to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, let me show you how fast this thing goes under power mode. Let's 
get into the power mode. All right. Anything past 100, I think the font becomes a little smaller. Hold up. Let's take a look at it. See? If you can see anything after 100, the font goes a little smaller. And you see, it's a 200 watt mod, but I can't go above 162. It's just because of the Ohm's Law. At a 0 .50 coil, you only can go up to 162 for this tank. But <clears throat> let's go back down. See anything after? Oh, no. The fonts get a little bigger. So before 100, it's a big font. Anything after 100, little font. All right, this is just a quick review, you know. I'm sure there's other reviewers that get more in depth of it, but uh, it's just a quick look at the both the tank and the mod. <clears throat> Let me tell you where this shines. It's the price tag for a 200 watt mod and a tank for less than seventy dollars. I don't know if you guys remembered um, the Evic VT. That came with the mod. It was a full kit and an express kit. But the full kit, I paid somewhere around $65. And that was only a 60 watt mod for a tank. And that Eagle 1 Mega, which was horrible. It was a horrible tank. I did not like it. It was always temp control. I mean, it was always temp protected. That thing would never... Those juice holes were so small that you, you just couldn't vape on it. And the EVIC VTC, that's a 75 watt with the upgrade. That takes only one battery, and that's around like $65 too with that Eagle One. I can get a 200 watt mod right now with this nice tank. I mean, like, it's, it's more of a premium tank than those Eagle One Megas for like $65 now. So, great job, Joytech, for bringing out these nice, affordable products for consumers, man. Thanks for watching. I want to thank all my current subscribers. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe for more future vape content. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me any comments in the, uh, in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you ASAP. But yeah, thanks for watching. Vape safe and vape on.